sometimes if you look at some really happy marriages, mm-hmm. it is a, a their team. You're a team. Yeah, your team. And, yeah. and sometimes you're playing, it may look like the guy's sport. Right. But really, it's a sport you play together. Mm-hmm. I had examples of that in my childhood. Like my dad's best friend was a doctor and his mm. wife ran the office. Okay, so yeah. So one would think, oh, well, she's it's all about him. Right. She was so fulfilled. She's anchoring it. In her too, work. Yeah. She loved what she did. Mm-hmm. And then my best friend Becky, middle school, her dad was a construction guy, and mom was just like the rock that yeah. held everything together. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was amazing because at the end of the day, to me, the most important thing yeah. is your relationships with your kids and yeah. your partner. And the career will ebb and flow, will mm-hmm. be hot and cold. But if that's good, yeah, then life is good. Absolutely. That's yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's it is the gr- the grounding thing that you need because this business is like so fickle. And I and you talk about Bert and me and people not being too scared to take time off. There is that scarcity thing that you have. But you have to have the balance. You have to have like I, I'm sure when Bert comes home, there's such a sense of of like groundedness and it (laughs) feels good and and yeah i had never been in a team before jacks i had dated and stuff but never been in a serious relationship this was very new to me i think i get sensitive about people being like oh this is fortune's wife like yes she's my wife but she is her own person Mm -hmm. and you know there were plenty of sacrifices she did have to make Mm -hmm. you know she moved here for me from chicago Mm -hmm. she was a teacher um, and a really amazing teacher. I'm like, here's the thing about Jax is she could do, go do 20 jobs right now and be like the best mm-hmm. at whatever that job is. She's just choosing not to right now because this crazy career is kind of all consuming. And so she's help, choosing to help me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it doesn't mean she's not capable of doing a thousand other things. Like she was one of the best elementary school teachers. You know, I witnessed it myself. Uh, these kids that like had never had a book read to them before. She's getting these five-year-old kids with like no support at home, nothing. It's like second grade reading levels. She came to LA and taught for a year and the parents were like, can we tape you? Like (laughs) how do, like, can we bottle what you do and other teachers learn from it? But you know, she's just like, she's like not very like, she don't want attention or anything but she's just so capable like you so right. smart so good and so Bert and I are lucky to have a teammate who's so capable so I never want her to ever feel less than right. because she's choosing to help me so much right right